Have you ever heard of Arturo Alfonso Schomburg? Welcome to another episode of the Black Healing Matters Podcast, where we offer you ideas to hopefully move you one step closer to your healing. And on this Tuesday, Know Thy History Tuesday, I am just wrapping up here in New York and on my way back to Korea. But I couldn't leave New York without talking about someone that I came across uh, that I found fascinating. And actually, I did not know who this person was. I had never heard of him before. And how about you? Have you heard of Mr. Schomburg? Well, if not, today is your lucky day because Arturo Alfonso Schomburg was a pioneering historian and scholar who helped lay the foundation of the field of African and African American studies. Schomburg dedicated his life to educating, collecting, and sharing research about the black experience. <clears throat> Born January 24, 1874 in Puerto Rico to his mother, Mary Joseph, and father, Carlos Frederico Schomburg, who was mixed German and Puerto Rican heritage. So uh, Schomburg, as I mentioned, was mixed and he was raised mostly by his mother. When he was in elementary school, a teacher claimed that black people had no history or heroes. And from that point, Schomburg decided to set out to find his, all of the African and African-American history that he could find. <clears throat> he delved into the history of black Puerto Ricans to find the many accomplishments that they had achieved. And by the age of 17, Schomburg left the Caribbean for the Americas. He settled in a Cuban community in Manhattan and found work as a bellhop, an elevator operator, and a porter. He later began to take classes and became politically active, serving as secretary as Las Dos Antias. In 1898, when the Spanish-American War resulted in American control over Puerto Rico and Cuba, Schomburg became disillusioned with Caribbean nationalism and turned his attention to the experiences of people of the African descent. In 1911, Schomburg had, began, had become a large member of El Sol Cuba. At the same, that same year, at the age of 37, he became a founding member of the Negro Society of Historical Research, a group that aimed to promote black literacy and artistic expression. Schomburg was also active in the American Negro Academy, along with the prominent black int intellectuals like W.E.B. Du Bois. In 1920, he became the president of that academy, and he held that position until 1929. Through his involvement in these various civic groups, Schomburg became a prominent figure in the Harlem Renaissance and was also known for raising awareness of black culture and history. Schomburg wrote extensively and consistently added to his collection of literature as he had over 5,000 books, manuscripts, pamphlets, and papers. In 1926, Schomburg's collection was purchased through a grant from the Carnegie Foundation to help establish a division of Negro literature history and print collection at the 135th Street branch of the New York Library. Schomburg later died in 1936. And 
So, as I mentioned before, I learned about Schomburg because I actually went to that 135th Street branch of the New York Library, Public Library, which is where they are currently um, have they were they're currently having the uh, Black Power exhibit, <clears throat> which is really powerful, uh, and it's all about the Black Panthers and their impact. And I think that, that the entire layout of the the exhibit is, is very well done. And I think this this particular uh this particular uh, exhibit is one of the best that I've found. So hopefully, if you didn't know, now you know about a very important person in the history of black folks as well the history of African and African-American studies. And on that note, hope you're having a great Tuesday. Please do leave us a comment, call in, email blackhealingmatters at gmail.com. And let me know, have you ever heard of Alfonso Arturo Schomburg? Have you ever attended? Have you ever gone to that, uh, that library? That's on 135th Street in Harlem. Hopefully you have. If you have, please let me know. And on that note, stay blessed. And as always, Black Healing Matters. podcast you just heard was recorded with anchor if you want to make your own download the android or ios app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast that's anchor.fm slash podcast